Hi guys. Um, I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys today about something awesome and just share a lot of things that um, I'm thankful for and just to bring up um, some good things in life, you know, that we uh, we kind of pass by or we kind of um, scratch the surface about. Um, I have a few definitions that I want to go over with you guys and yeah definitions are boring but um I don't know I just think I need to make this video okay we're gonna go over what faith means faith is complete trust or confidence in something or someone what do you have faith in do you have faith in your car that it's going to turn on when you put the key and turn the key in the ignition? Do you have faith that it's going to turn on and like take you where you got to go? Do you have faith in a medication that you're taking? Do you have faith in that, that it's going to get you better? Do you have faith that... You are still breathing even though you can't see the air. Do you have faith in the air? Because you can't see it. But do you have faith that you'll stay alive in this air? In the air that you're breathing right now? Do you have faith in that workout that you're doing every day to lose those pounds? Do you have faith that eventually, eventually you'll lose those extra pounds or you'll tone your body up? Do you have faith in that? Do you have faith in when you make a recipe, when you make something, when you follow the directions on a box for the recipe that you want? Do you have faith that that recipe will come out the way it's supposed to because everything is written down for you to do? All the steps are written down for you to do. They're all there. The measurements, the amount, um, what to put in there, how to, the temperature, everything's in there for you in the recipe. So do you have faith that that's going to come out the way you're, it's supposed to because you're following the recipe? When you follow the recipes, don't they usually come out the way they're supposed to? Um, I have also fear okay fear is to be afraid an unpleasant emotion caused by belief that someone or something is dangerous or likely to cause pain or threat fear that's huge fear that's scary there's so many things that we fear we fear a lot of the times, we fear that people will judge us. We fear that we won't be cool anymore. We fear that that person won't love us like they do now. We fear not being able to have things that we want in our lives. Or we fear... Things will be taken away in our lives. We fear truth because sometimes truth hurts or sometimes truth is scary because truth usually brings things out that we don't want to hear because we're used to having faith in things that we don't even need to have faith in. There are other things that are more important out there to have faith in that we can't see, but we feel, and I know this isn't going to make sense to many people, but I hope I'm getting a little point across because um, I just want to tell you guys how much god has done in my life it's like an awesome thing 
And I know many of you probably won't understand. And that's okay. You don't have to understand. I just wanted to share those definitions with you. Maybe they'll like kind of tell you something. I just want to go over this, um, this scripture real quick with you guys. And it says, it's um, 1 Corinthians 2, 14. It says, the natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are fully to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. Okay, fully, for they are fully to him. Fully, the definition of fully is lack of good sense or foolish. So, God is spiritual, right? He's spiritual because even though we can't see him, most of us know he's there. You know that little voice that tells you in your head, like, you're not supposed to be doing that. Or, you're not supposed to be here. Or, why did I say that? Or, yeah, it's your, your, you're going to say, oh, duh, it's me. I'm talking to myself in my head. But, why? Why do those good things tell you? that in your head why do you hear those good things in your head can you explain that can you explain that it's just you're gonna say oh it's just me talking to myself in my head no it's something better than that it's a spiritual thing it's it's god it's god talking to you people don't think about that people don't think about why they make good decisions there's good decisions and there's bad decisions there's good there's there's bad and um you have to have faith. If you don't have faith that it is God, then you're not going to see it spiritually because you're going to be blinded by the fact that you're like, what is that that's telling me to do good things? It's not you. It's God. It's God helping you to tell you these things. And you have to have faith and you have to not fear you have to not fear the fact that you're doubting yourself in your mind even right now because you want to go ahead and just say that, no, it's not. And you kind of want to think, you want to keep your faith, but you don't want to be wrong because what, you know, what happens when you're wrong? You feel upset with yourself and then you feel like I shouldn't have believe that because now I'm down in the dumps and I want to just blame everything on everybody but God is here you guys like seriously I've I have learned so much in so little time about myself about my life about everything around me it just opens up your eyes it just lets you see everything the way it is you know, and it lets you see the convictions. And I don't know if you know what conviction means, but it's like a guilt thing. It lets you see like the bad things that you've done. It lets you see when you make those good and when you make those bad choices. And it's God, like it's God guiding you. A lot of the times when you just want to blame God and you just want to be like, oh, well, why is all this bad stuff happening to me? But God doesn't do bad things. He doesn't make the bad stuff happen to us. He's the one that gets us out of the bad things. He's the one that keeps us in our strength so that when we get out of the bad stuff, we're like, wow, I went through that. That's God. You know, that's him pulling you out of the hole that you were in or the darkness that you were in. And this is just a random blog, so it's going to be scattered because I just want to get this out. And I keep talking to myself. No, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys. But um, I keep making these videos and then I don't upload them. And that's the same thing as denying what I have faith in and that is God. And I don't deny him. I don't want to deny him because I want to keep receiving the blessings that I have been given. 
And who knows, maybe I'll help somebody. You know, maybe I'll help you get out of that darkness that you're in because it's just temporary. The darkness goes away. I was like really in darkness for a long time and I finally found that light that I was looking for, that light that I was like, that's what I'm supposed to do. You know, because you always ask yourself like, I know I'm supposed to do something in this life, but I don't know what it is. Like, I know I'm supposed to be here for some reason. I just, I just don't know what I'm going to do, but I, I know it's something that's, that's God. That's God telling you, you have a purpose here. And the purpose is to love each other and spread kindness and do the right things. Not the wrong things, not whatever you want to do. It's not whatever you want to do. It's whatever God wants for you. Because we're so quick to do whatever we want to do, even though it's a nice thing. It's not always the right thing to do. And I'll go into more detail about a lot of the stuff I'm talking about. I just want to kind of mm, scratch the surface and move that first layer out of the way because I need to introduce you guys to the fact that I have faith in God. And if you can't accept that, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I can't change that. You know, that's just what I believe. You know, I believe in him. I believe that he's working in my life. I believe that if I put everything to him and give all my worries and everything to him, he's giving me the strength that I need. There's so many, so many excuses out there for why we shouldn't believe in God or why he isn't real. But okay, stop asking those questions and ask, why not? Why not? You know, why wouldn't he be real? You know, it's just people that are so stuck in anger and stuck in negative things that they're like in a rut and they're like, well, I'm not getting out of it. So God must not be real. But there's so many things out there, so many resources out there, so many tools out there that can get you out of what you're in. You just don't have faith and you're just in fear. So, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. And I'm going to go ahead and upload this video because I keep on being lazy and not doing it and um even though my hair looks crazy and uh i don't even care <laughs> i love you guys and i just want you guys to know that somebody is always there for you and you know we got to stick together help each other work with each other love each other and everything will be good that's all we have to do it's so simple so simple and people just don't even think about that because it's so simple. But yeah, I'll let you guys go. I'm just talking and talking away. But love you guys so much. And um, I just hope this helps somebody or something because I'm just getting it out of my mind. Getting it out there. Trying to spread it. And hopefully something good will happen out of it. And if you have a negative comment, just message me. Just message me don't waste your time and commenting below because if it's negative it's it's not going to really help anybody you know it's not going to help you because you're being negative i mean if you have a question or anything just ask me ask me and you can message me it or you can ask me in a comment below and if i can't find the answer for you i will try my very best to get somebody to help me find the answer for you okay so there you go bye guys